You're listening to Zen Sandwich. MJ, how do you keep your shit together? Practically speaking. And what I mean is you were a teenage mom, right? And yeah, I think your daughter's almost grown, uh, yeah. about, about to move on. Right. And you, yeah. you started the cosmetics line. You wrote a yeah. book. You've got this successful podcast. You now yes. sell dear sis playing cards. What's your advice to people who feel overwhelmed by all the stuff they got juggling in their lives? How can we keep our shit together too? Like you give us some down to earth realism and advice. Sit the fuck down. <laughs> it, no, seriously. Mm-hmm. Sit the fuck down. Get out your own way and stop listening to the naysayers. Mm. Because what's for you is for you. Bottom line. I don't care who you pray to, what you believe in, a head of lettuce, a turtle. I don't care. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's all about you. And once you stop feeling that it's not about you no more, that's when you fail. Who cares about what people say? You have to really go hard and be passionate and know like it may not work tonight, but it's going to work tomorrow. And when morning comes, if it don't work in the morning, it's going to work that night. You have to really be diligent because people, you know what, Mark? Giving up is easy. Right. That's the easiest thing. And that's the easiest trick in the book. Mm. Oh, I don't want to do this no more. It ain't working for me. I'm giving up. I'm going back to my nine to five. Or I'm going back to the other crap I was doing that I hated so much. So I decided to do this. But since this not working out, I'm going to go back to what I really hate. You have to keep going. And mm. don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Fear should not be a factor for you. Mm. That's good. Fear should not be a factor. Procrastination is the deadliest thing yeah. possible. I think that's- Kill you faster than COVID. <laughs> I think that's great advice. Uh, definitely, when you even feel that procrastination bug coming on, get up, get up and do something towards your dream or what you want to happen. Yeah, smoke the Dutch. And uh, and the and the don't listen to the naysayers. One hundred percent. That is that's very good advice. Well, you're you're an inspiration. You're not just an inspiration to to women or women of color. You're an inspiration to a white guy from Alabama. I'm telling you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm honored because this is what it is. This is the real deal, holy field shit. There you go. 